Davis and Elkins women's lacrosse head coach Emily Peets and uh, coach first year of the program is officially in the books uh, thanks for competing in the inaugural GMAC championship uh, semifinal uh, your thoughts from uh, the season and a few of the learning experiences this year we um, we definitely battled a lot of injuries this year you know we have three ACL tears currently so we did play down the entire game but I think one of the things that separates my team you know from a lot of teams just everywhere is that we just constantly they play with heart and they play with all they have I don't really have to ask much of them um, and it's never you know when we come into the huddle and stuff it's never me getting mad at them or anything like that it's always they always are trying to lift each other up so I think it's all even though the score you know really the score really doesn't affect what we do and you know how hard we work so yeah uh, talk a little bit about how hard really you know 12 versus 10 is in, in this sport <laughs> It's extremely hard trying to, uh, just trying to get them to, you know, listen, I'm real sorry, but five of you have to run midfield. It's hard enough to tell three of them that really don't, nobody really likes to run that much, I don't think, personally, but, you know, trying to get five of them to really, you know, listen, you guys all got to work together. All, you know, ten of you have to really run today. And they kind of just looked at me and they're like, okay, coach, you know, let me know if we, you know, whatever, I'll go over, I'll do this. So they're, it's just, we were lucky because, they all kind of just kind of meld together and they work really well together. So anytime anybody's down or needs something, they kind of pick each other back up, which is cool. I got very lucky with that. Haley Ware and Gabby Fagan uh, both scored there towards the end of regulation. Uh, you know, how proud are you of, um, you know, just for chipping away and, uh, you know, not giving up? Very, very proud. That, I mean, the whole season, we, you know, we did come out with a win against Montre earlier in the season, our second game, but just the, just the way they just always keep fighting. It doesn't matter if it's 30 to, you know, one. At halftime, we our goal was, you know, only allow, don't allow 20 and maybe get five goals the second half. And I was, I mean, I'm proud with two. It, you know, the defense that we were playing against was very good. And we, to be honest, towards the end there, we were getting tired. I'm not gonna deny that. So we definitely, uh, it's, it's a cool, it's a cool feeling, even though we didn't win, they, you know, they did everything that I asked them to do this season, so I couldn't really ask for anything else. Yeah, looking back in the preseason, uh, we asked you what your, you know, one of your goals was, and one of those goals was to get that win. Um, you know, what is the next step in the program's progress in your mind? Definitely to compete or beat these GMAC teams. I'm very excited for next year. Or we, we talk about it all the time, how we're gonna come back next year and we're gonna compete with all these teams. So the girls are just really excited and I'm really excited to see, you know, we have a lot of talent. We have a lot of new talent. So I think over the summer and just in the fall, polishing all that up and getting, you know, our injured kids back, I think will be, you know, a force to be reckoned with. Coach, thanks for your time. Thank and you. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing you next Thank year. Thank you.